nature or um, natural materials, so like the ceramics, the idea of working with earth and wear, um, or exploring places, that sense of place, so it helps you to understand uh, who you are through your experience of experiencing God through these places that you have visited. Uh, and so we have a, a um, selection of students who explore this in their work in different means. And underneath each of the works, there is a little statement that each of the artists has written. So please, please read those and explore that thought. Uh, and I'm going to allow the, oh, we have Holly and Bethany back. One, two, three, four, five of the artists present who just very quickly, if you would like to uh, explain your work, talk about your work, uh, and that, that connection to the theme is very Thank you for coming, and I appreciate you students for participating. Um, I know it was kind of last minute, and I put, it, I put a little pressure, uh, but I put the pressure because I knew it fit with your content uh, already. So, thank you. Uh, Brianne, you remember? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I work in ceramics, uh, specifically dark stoneware and yellow slip with scorpito. Uh, and the reason I kind of create work is because the community and my environment inspire me to create that. Uh, and although I don't necessarily work by relaying scripture into my work, um, I find that like my faith and God are just inherently within my work because my community has that. I grow my community and my faith through uh, the interactions I have. And so uh, these two pieces I have right here, uh, this one is actually a community teapot. So it's created uh, by the Hiranuki method, which is a Japanese traditional style where you take a block of clay, carve it out, and then chop up the outside to kind of make it look like a rock. And I put a slip on certain areas, and my friends and a couple of my professors um, that uh, got to scrupito around it, and uh, it kind of represents how the interactions in my community help create the work that I make. And then this one right here is a cup that I threw and then chopped up the bottom to give it that Kiranuki style. Um, and scruffino daffodils on it, which when I was looking up the meaning of flowers, daffodils actually mean um, eternal life. Um, and so obviously, I was just like, Jesus. <laughs> and so I, uh, and this piece actually, I had to rebuild the bottom on because I had cut through the bottom a couple of times and it made it all the way through without any cracks or anything like that. And so it just really felt, um, like a god piece, and so I had to make sure that I paired it with the community teapot for the show. So yeah. Great, great, thank you. My name is Bailey, um, and I've been working in ceramics for almost two years now. Uh, and this piece that I created, it's, I call it Persephone. Uh, my whole kind of ceramic brand is the idea of from dust to dust, and I incorporate my faith in that with the idea that from dust we were created to dust shall return. Um, and it's just involving that scripture. And that kind of instills it throughout, instills itself in the entire ceramic process, um, beginning from making the clay from dust and then forming it into something like this, um, with the end idea that eventually it will return to dust on its own in time. Um, I kind of, I like to make pieces that are generally, they look soft, they look gentle, uh, and they look almost human-like. Almost all my pieces end up having that kind of humanness to them, um, and this one very specifically does, especially when you, from the side, you see it's kind of, it looks like a woman with her legs and stomach and her shoulders up here. Uh, I called it Persephone because Persephone in Greek mythology is the god of beauty, uh, or goddess of beauty. Uh, but how that relates is God, God Yahweh, is being the supreme, who is overall, overall these, these ideas and these mythologies that we've conceived. Um, he's the creator of people who have created those things. Um, my whole purpose as like an artist is to, I was created and therefore I shall create. Um, and that just kind of expresses itself through 
art like this that has a that reflects the creator in a way, in both reflecting me and reflecting our God as a whole the creator. So I I built this piece with the coil building method. Um, it's not one that I've used a ton. This is actually the first piece that I made um, using the coil building method in a while. Um, and it's one of the first pieces that I've actually shown using that method. And I really like how it turned out and just it really added to that kind of it formed itself in a way hmm. as if the clay had a mind of its own. Because um, it wasn't intentionally supposed to look like a woman to begin with. It was just supposed to be this kind of figure eight structure. Um, it wasn't until after a few people had come in and looked at it with me and they were like, hey, this did something that you didn't intend. Um, and I thought that was a really cool, like added another layer to the God ordainedness of it. Um, so that's, that's my piece. And tribalized indigenous person, all of that means is connecting with my ancestors. And this particular painting was a story of my great grandmother who was a Comanche woman and the story told by my father. So through my work, it has helped me heal and begin that process of finding my identity, finding my people, and understanding the culture that was lost to us, and understanding the importance of my family history and how that shapes us. So. As well with nature, all of my pieces have plants in them, and as an indigenous person, we believe that we are stewards of Mother Earth and that we should protect it because it is God's creation and it should be respected. It's beautiful. It is done so precisely and so beautifully that it should be respected and treated the best of its abilities, and I am happy to at least try to capture it in my work and in my pieces and show the importance of it, especially this one being in particular Texas with the blue bonnets and this, the Comanche land being native to Texas. So all of my work speaks on modern day Hispanic, Hispanics or Latinos and their indigenous identity because that is something that was lost to us. So I'm happy to be able to participate in this show, to show my heritage, show how that connects with our themes, and to just happily represent indigenous peoples. about God as my inspiration or anything like that, I will say that I never felt more connected than when I was spending time in nature. So a lot of my artwork does include nature and floral, well, not nature, nature, like landscapes, but lots of florals. I don't want to create the exact flower you're going to go see, but I want to create the feeling of peace and joy and love that you feel from God, but I'm not going to say anything fancy like, oh, this is how I feel when I'm 
on a when I walk in this special thing, but it's just about recreating that feeling of connecting with God. Um, that I have. Thank you. Very good. Well, and as we're uh, exploring the idea of identity, the idea of spirituality, and the idea of responsibility, and so with this show, I hope to kind of initiate a conversation or spark kind of the idea of if you understand who you are uh, and understand how you experience your spirituality, especially through nature, um, you can understand uh, who you are, what you believe, and then you once you know that, you can then begin to address your responsibility to the world, to the earth. Um, and so we really focus on being able to explore your identity uh, and your beliefs through your art with the show. So thank you for coming. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I have more than I'm going to answer. I'm going to talk with you. Uh, these artists are uh, running around the building all day, every day, and you can catch them in the hallway uh, and talk to them on a one on one. And I, I don't doubt that you would have a more in depth, personal, more impactful conversation if you began to speak with them on a one on one basis. So, thank you for coming despite the impending snow ice possibility <laughs> that is slowly pushing its way into these windows. <laughs> All right, questions out here? If not, enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> it's great.